Hi, I'm Pritesh, the program lead for aerospace systems engineering at UWE. And the Merlin Flight Sim is an excellent tool for providing students with a good understanding of the underlying design principles of designing and modeling aircraft. So the initial step is to turn on the circuit breaker and place power to the four PCs. So you've got four computers. Then you want to switch on the mains power. Uh, in order to do that, switch that on. Engage. Make sure that the 12 volt and 24 volt both come on. And you go to the PCs. Hello, my name is Esmail, and today I'm going to show you how to start up and set up the Merlin Flight Simulator. So first of all, you want to start up by opening the Merlin version 2 application. After that, you want to go by loading a model of the airplane you want to choose. There's a wide variety of models, and you can input your own. Once you've loaded the chosen model, you want to initialize the flight and get it ready for flying. Uh, what you want to check on this screen mainly is where the flight starts, if it's in air or on the ground which airport it is, you can set the bearings, altitude, headings, everything. Once you're okay with that, if you just want to press OK. A uh, screen with the controls will come up if you just want to OK that as well. And then you've got a wide variety of controls you could look at, look at such as the controls inside the cockpit, see what the pilot's doing at all times. You can, control, you can control the environment around them, such as wind turbulence, clouds, everything, and some more functions. So you can add some more functions to the engines and everything. Once you're okay with that and have set the settings to however you like, if you just want to press run, and now the pilot is ready for flying the flight simulator.